Hey guys, this is the GTA Wise Guy, and I hope you enjoy the video. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to lower your car. A lot of people do this when they go into like car meets, and it basically just to stand your car. And it looks quite cool, so I'll just show you how to do it. And for this, I'm just going to use the Futo. Um, some cars can't actually do this sometimes because what you've got to do is you've got to shoot the wheels in the right place using the right gun and sometimes it just doesn't work and the cars just blow up so some cars it works with some cars and some cars it don't so I can't tell you exactly which ones will and won't work so you'll just have to see for yourself now this won't work if you have bulletproof tyres on your car and if your car does I'm afraid you'll just have to get a new one if you want to do this but what you want to do is get a micro SMG if you've not already got one and put a suppressor on it and after you've got that, all you've got to do really is just shoot the wheel right in the middle. Um, make sure you don't shoot the tyres because it'll pop and you'll have to fix the car and do it all over again. But just shoot each wheel in the in the middle as much as you can, and you've got to you'll see the car drop a little, and the, each wheel can do that twice. And some cars can only do it once. Now, once each wheel arch has dropped twice, if you keep carry on shooting the wheel, it'll start to damage the car and start to smoke a bit so keep an eye on when it drops and don't shoot it too much another thing I should mention as well is when you're online don't shoot your car next to someone because it'll just glitch out on their screen and basically it'll just look like you're shooting your car and to everyone else you'll just have bullet holes in the side of your car so just drive off somewhere where you're on your own and no one's going to be able to see you and that way you can just lower your car and it's not going to look dodgy on everyone else's screen Anyway, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And I would like to mention that I do respect the feedback that you give me, and I do take it on board. Like, my watermark's less in the way now. My voice isn't only playing through the left channel. And I have ordered a new mic, and it's due to arrive in the next two weeks, so you won't have to listen to me through this crappy quality mic that I've got now. And um, I hope to see you in the next video.